All right, guys, Elijah here. This is a video of me reacting to Death Dealer Ray. And I just want to give a little disclaimer before we get into this. But what I am talking about, like, I guess the flaws or the issues that I have with his kit, I'm speaking from the perspective of an RTA player, somebody that was really looking forward to being able to, like, use a unit like this in RTA and just the reality of whether or not I would be able to do that or any other player would be able to do that, honestly speaking. So that was kind of like the perspective that I was speaking from. When it comes to control environments like Arena, Guild Wars, this unit, the kid, it's not really a big of a deal. You can make it work. You can make anything work in Arena and Guild Wars, to be honest. It's just a matter of having the right gear and speed tuning. But in RTA, you have to deal with the drafting and needing certain pieces of the puzzle and things of that nature. And it's kind of hard to draft certain units like this, especially units that are very reliant on, you know, debuffs when they don't have a strip or relying on granting buffs if they don't have a cleanse. So, yeah. But that's just what to give that little disclaimer. Just know my perspective is just speaking from somebody who plays a lot of RTA and looking at it like that. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Alrighty guys, it has been revealed. Here we are reacting to Death Dealer Ray. I was guessing like Plague Doctor, Doctor or something along those lines, but like, I don't know. Let's, let's just see. I'm excited. I, let's just get into it. Oh, how promising. This will make an excellent case study. This won't hurt a bit. Oh my gosh. Guarantee it. Life or death. Pick your poison. Okay, so he is still a soul weaver. That's still really cool. Okay, okay, okay. He looks insane. I am Oh, I am so stoked for this hero. And I'm basically gonna guarantee get him. Regard like no matter what, I'm gonna get him, so I'm pretty excited. I hope his kit is pretty cool. It looks like he has high defense. Hold on, let's get to the actual stats. This is a bunch of okay. So it has effectiveness concentration. Interesting. But he has no base effectiveness. Hundred speed, okay. I don't really know like how to judge like HP defense. He seems like he has pretty high defense. Like that's what I'm getting probably high hp as well he's a cancer so like think angelic of light not angelic of light angelica and uh, angelica uh, the the wyvern unit that one fence uh, that's, can that's the his one effectiveness through his imprint concentration so let's go ahead and get into those skills skill two anatomical mutation increase Okay, increases combat readiness of all allies by 10% and increased effectiveness for two turns. Grants pestilence to all allies except for the caster for two turns. After attacking an enemy, after attacking on the target's turn, inflicts venom for two turns. This effect cannot be, cannot activate... Uh, can I not? Can I not? Let me just let this him read. I have just like of all allies by <laughs> let me just let him read. Increases effectiveness for two <laughs> turns. Grants pestilence to all allies except for the caster for two turns. Pestilence. After attacking on the target's turn, inflicts venom for two turns. This effect is not activated by a counterattack, dual attack, or extra attack. Pestilence cannot be dispelled. Ooh. Skill three. Cloud of death releases a miasma of fatal poison with up to a 100% chance to put all enemies to sleep for one turn and a 100% chance to inflict venom for two turns before dealing additional damage equivalent to 80% of the target's injuries. Grants an extra turn to the caster. Skill one. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me, let's see that. Hold on. 80% of the target's injuries. Grants an extra turn to the caster. Okay, so that was through Escort. That was 12,000 damage. Okay, so this is very much a... <laughs> it, it seems like his kit very much enforces or, like, continues the, um... What is it? The... 
tank down control meta that's going on right now. Um, but with the sheer amount of injury that it seems like he's able to inflict, this does actually, this can, in a way, deal with that. It's just, you know, one big major concern, uh, you know, the elephant in the room is, you know, when it comes to, like, control units, a lot of times what struggles and what makes it hard for them is their ability to land their debuffs. But the debuff is being applied by allies, which kind of makes it a lot better. Like, imagine this being paired with, like, Solitaria or some sort. But then again, since it can't be activated by an extra attack, maybe that won't work out too well. So I don't know. I'll have to... This is kind of like... You have to really, like, theory craft with this, essentially. I see they're pairing him with Shiren, who sadly does not work well. <laughs> so, because she can't really, up, like, up, make enough debuff effects for herself. But, yeah. We'll, let's see. Skill 1. Clinical Trial. Attacks the enemy by throwing an experimental drug at them. and has up to a 75% chance to put them to sleep for one turn before detonating any venom effects inflicted on the target at the end of the turn. Oh. This skill does not trigger a dual attack. When 10 soul is consumed, increases effect chance to 100. Okay, so... Consumed, increases effect... How many... How many stacks was that? I'm sorry, when I couldn't see. When 10 soul is consumed, increases... I missed it again. Um... Soul is consumed. Okay, so he had three stacks. He has 19k HP, so they built him very tanky. Um, three stacks. Three. So three stacks doing to 5k damage, detonate, and a bunch of injury. Do I, do I think that he will fix the issue, though? Maybe. I don't know. I do like his kit. I do. His kit is different. I mean,. As you can see that he's paired with Imbol Kaurik here, I can already tell you that Imbol Kaurik is going to be his worst enemy, and anybody that wants to use this unit is most likely going to have to keep that in mind, that you're going to have to, like, you know, there's Designer Lilibet, there's Mediator Kaurik. If you, if you, you know, when you don't have a strip, it makes it very hard to land your debuffs, okay? Because, you know, the two-turn immunity is a thing. 100%. This won't hurt a bit. So do I think he's OP? A solitary seeker of the truth behind no. life and death. Players will be able to meet Death Dealer Ray through the Mystic Summon starting January 5th. Oh, January 5th. Do I think he's OP? Um. No. But I do think his kit is interesting. It is different. It could work for some, you know, fun comps right in certain situations i'm just let's let's go back a little bit i need to <laughs> does this grant an extra turn or no i guess not so he would need to take his turn right to grant this buff which means that you can't have unbuffable or else this is I feel as though they could have, at the very least, have this skill also serve as a cleanse. Um, and because, like, he has 100 base speed, like, he's not going to be fast, right? And I can really build him, like, super fast. I feel as though they could have at least given him a cleanse here. But I guess, you know, you could use Doctor's Bag, right? That could work. Um... I guess that's what they're thinking about, like just having him on Doctor's back or something. That could work. Cause, but does Doctor Back cleanse then apply the effects or apply the effects and then cleanse it? Oof. I think it doesn't cleanse until after, which means it won't really work out too well. Mm, I don't know about this. I don't know. I want to be optimistic. I love Ray and I really wanted his MO version to be like really good. Um, I really did, I really did, but I feel as though, I don't know, I, I already see, 
I already see if his like release goes very, very poorly. I already in my head see like what they would need to change to buff him, right? I don't even think you need um right, this doesn't have a strip, so you would kind of need um like you would need somebody else to strip or them to not have immunity and stuff like that. That's also another thing, right? But I, I it's usable. It's I I'm gonna make it work because I, I really really like Ray. I love this design of this hero. I'm gonna make it work. If there's somebody that's gonna make it work, I'm gonna make it work. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to make it work, right? But it's I'm gonna make it work. Okay, I, I will. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Um. Yeah, I. If this here, I feel as though this just had a cleanse of some sort, it would have just helped out a lot. Because if they have unbuffable on your team, you just are not going to be able to do anything. Um, the increased effectiveness, like, okay, I get it, I guess. That's supposed to help out so that he actually lands debuffs. But. 50% effectiveness boost, I mean, what's, like, again, it's not going to matter if you don't have, like, you can build them with, like, I guess, 100 effectiveness base, right? You don't have to put in, you know, like, too much effectiveness. Or you could do, like, 150, so that he has, like, 200 effectiveness, and then, you know, with the effectiveness buff, right? Just to kind of, like, guarantee that he lands his debuffs. Um, you can do something like that. But I just really wish this cleanse. That is like the only thing that is like bothering me with this kit is that this doesn't cleanse. Um, because I just, his whole mechanic of like stacking Venom and having your allies also help you stack Venom is very dependent on them actually being able to have this Pestilence buff. Right? Because he can't grant this to himself. I don't know, guys. I'm already seeing the one change, the one minor change. I wouldn't even make him too OP. That would have helped out a bunch because you have him here, right? They have him paired with two cleansers. <laughs> like literally two cleansers. And then sure, and I'm assuming that they're just like turn resetting and just like having injury, playing super slow, that type of thing. I feel like in a practical sense in RTA, you're just not going to do this. You're just not going to have a team set up like this. Because um, I, I just feel like people are just going to cleave you. Or just pull out strays or something like that. And you just lose. Um, and then with units like Lua and stuff existing. Right? They could just shut him down very easily. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just... At the very least, I just wish his S2 had a cleanse. That's the only thing... That, that's all I'm asking for. <laughs> it, that would have been so much better. It would have made a lot more sense. Um, gosh. Uh, we can look at their... I don't even want to look at this demo test because this fight is probably going to last like 300 years because they're just stacking um, injury. What else? Do they go up against like a, a different team? Uh, not a Ravi team, I see. Okay. Uh... But yeah, I'm going to use him. I'm going to pull for him. I'm going to summon him. I'm going to um, plus 15 him. Oh, I'm probably not going to plus 15 him. Unless I absolutely need to. Unless I absolutely need to. Oh, I love this expression here. This is really cute. Um, yeah, I'm going to see. I don't know. My thoughts a little iffy. It's just when, you're, when your kits revolves around landing debuffs, Especially when those are granting buffs, I feel as though he's a soul weaver. At the very least, they could give him a cleanse, right? I At the very least, right? I just, I don't know. That's just my two cents. You, we saw how Shuren went, you know, people just didn't use her or still don't use her because she just doesn't work out too well because uh, of issues of cleansers and um, having to deal with uh, the fact that she doesn't really provide much sustain or support whatsoever. When you have a soul weaver like that, you have to 
I would almost say they need to be able to work in like an aggro aggressive draft, like how Ning Ning works, right? In the sense that, you know, though she doesn't provide much sustain, does she doesn't provide much like supporting capabilities, she plays very aggressive and she's really works out very well for setup towards aggressive or even like cleave drafts. I can't see him in a draft of that sort, which means that you are kind of forced to play him kind of like slower, tank down, whatever. And because of that, I feel like not having any type of cleanse makes it very hard to use this unit. Um, but who knows? I This is be just being realistic. I, I, just, I really hope that I'm wrong about this. I really hope he actually works out working very well. Maybe there's an artifact that I'm not thinking about. Um, Maybe Dr. Vag actually would work with his kit. I would have to see. But yeah, that concludes this video of me reacting to uh, Def Dealer Ray. I'm, I'm still excited. I I love his design. Uh, you know, any ML5 that it, it's bad or is bad on release, they're going to get over buffed. So I'm not really too concerned. But I wish, honestly, I just wish they would just release the units with these thoughts in mind of the things that would counter them or punish them, either having artifacts to help them out, uh, released through other heroes, or just flat out having their kit have the thing that would actually make them more viable and more usable. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out.